Hey guys, what is up? Welcome back to Beer Kick Nation. Thank you so much for joining me once again. All right, guys, we're doing another Beer Geek Nation first here. This is the first beer, the craft beer, to come out of Japan that we're reviewing on the show. This is from Kauchi Brewing. Of course, this is Hitachino Nest, and this is their XH, which is a strong ale coming at 7% ABV, aged in sake barrel, so doing some really cool things over there. They are currently not brewing beer. They're actually bottling water for people in the north affected by uh, the tsunamis and the, the nuclear power plants and the earthquakes and everything so that they can have fresh drinking water. So this beer was actually only brewed once. It was brewed in October of 2010 and released um, pretty widely, pretty widely, pretty widely. Um, I see it pretty much in all the bottle shops I go to still, a couple bottles here and there. Um, so if you guys do want to check it out, I do recommend you check it out. Um, support their cause, support them, um, let them know that, uh, you know, our, our uh, hearts and uh, minds go out to the uh, families in Japan. So with that said, guys, let's get this into glass, let you know it smells, tastes, and give you guys the verdict on Hitachino Nest. XH. It's not going to win any beauty contests. Um, it's a dark orange, rust orange. There's a nice, nice kind of, uh, you know, two or three fingers worth of an off white kind of eggshell head. Um, the head is really sticking around on this one. It's got that, you know, that whipped cream type of billowy, you know, appearance kind of sticking to it. Um, beautiful lacing, a little bit of alcohol. Um, legs on the feet there again not going to win any awards but you know for the beauty awards but it's a nice looking beer all right the aroma on the xh that is surprising um first thing i'm getting is a bit of funkiness in there there's a sour quality to it it smells a lot like a like a flanders red and old brew and that type of flavor apple skins coming through Nice graininess in there. There's a lot of funkiness in this one. It's got that barnyard quality that a lot of wild Belgian beers have, that, you know, wet hay. A little bit of alcohol in there, nice sweetness to it. Wow, a very, very interesting smelling beer. I'm curious about this one now. All right, the taste on the Hitachino Nest XH. That's really, really interesting. Um. Not what I was expecting at all, to tell you the truth. You know, first impressions are uh, a sour beer. It's a sour, sour beer. Um, it reminds me vaguely of like a, a Flanders Red, an Old Brune, somewhere in that style. Nice sourness right at the front of the tongue. Not nearly acetic, not nearly as acetic as that. I'm getting sweet kind of apple skins. There's a slight, a very, very slight oakiness to it. Um, more in the a slight vanilla, more in the kind of lemon and citrus taste that you get kind of out of a fresh oak barrel. Not getting a whole lot of sake characters, but sake doesn't really have a huge taste to it. Um, I'm definitely getting the barrel aging in this one. Tons of mouthfeel, just coats the mouth with a, it's almost like a, a, a Belgian strong ale, getting that that just big biscuity kind of flavors in there, kind of coating the mouth. Nice carbonation. Kind of a semi-sweet dry finish in there. Aftertaste is apple skins and ripe fruit. Um, really, really, really strange tasting beer. Yeah, I'm gonna give this one a B minus. Um, stylistically, do I get the strong ale? Yes. Um, do the sake barrels really do anything for it? A little bit. You get that. You get the, the kind of the oakiness in there. There's a lemon quality from the oakiness. Um, the, the, the strong ale itself is kind of, you know, not earth shattering. Um, there's a slight hoppiness to it, a nice maltiness to it, a decent amount of biscuit quality to it that kind of fills the mouth. Nice carbonation, really great head on it. You know, it's a very interesting beer. It, I can't, I can honestly say it's not like any beer I've ever had. So with that said, what I recommend, Hitachino Nuts XH, absolutely. Um, it's a crazy beer. That's the best way to describe it. Um, it reminds me like of a crazy anime, like commercial or something. That's With that said, guys, I'm giving the Hitachino Nuts XH a B minus. Remember folks, life is too short. Drink amazing beers. Kanpai. Cheers.